So I've been shooting for a couple of hours already. Right now I'm super tired and it's actually quite frustrating because Yes, you read the title correctly. I'm gonna shoot a perfume commercial with the webcam of my 2015 13 inch MacBook Pro. The quality of this camera is obviously just potato. That's why it's a challenge. Now, the reason why I came up with this idea is because people keep saying that gears doesn't matter. So I was thinking to what extent doesn't it matter? What if I shoot an ad with my webcam? Now, the perfume that I'm gonna shoot for today is called Bleu de Chanel, one of my favorite perfume of all time. Obviously, Chanel didn't ask me to shoot for them, but you know, if Chanel is watching, if you like the commercial, you can, you can have it. Now, I'm done talking, let's get started. Now, the first thing I did is to do some research on how they brand this perfume in general. Most of the time, the tone is dark blue, minimal, elegant. So instead of going for the same style, since the quality is so bad, I'm gonna make it look like it is shot during the 90s. You know those VHS type of look? First of all, I wanted a blue colored background. So I went to the stationery store, bought what I needed. And the moment I put it on camera, I know that it's the wrong color. So I just decided to go for a pitch black fabric so we don't see any details at all. So for the first shot, the opening shot, at the beginning, I want it to be like all black, all dark, and suddenly we introduce light and the bottle appears. But now there are two things that I notice. One is that the bottle is really reflective, especially the, the face of it. And it catches the light from the screen of the laptop very easily but I wanna use that as an advantage and give the face of the bottle some texture. That's why I wanna play a video of a dark blue ocean just so it reflects on the bottle and that's why it gives the bottle a very nice color of dark blue. One other thing that is really difficult is if I wanna get the reflection of the ocean directly from the reflection of my laptop, I cannot really look at the live screen while I'm playing the video since the video is playing. So I kinda have to frame the composition without looking at it. Obviously, as you can see, one of the hardest things to do with the laptop is to have any camera movement. So I try to avoid any camera movement. I'm trying to do a thing for the last shot, the ending shot, which the bottle is gonna rotate from this to here. And I'm gonna do it with my hand instead of actually moving the camera so that it's not that shaky. And in post-production, I'm gonna mask my hand out so we get a clean shot of the bottle rotating. So another thing that is quite annoying is that this cap is magnetic. I cannot really let it uh, stay straight. Like I needed it to be completely parallel to the bottle, but it's kind of a bit crooked. I'm gonna try to fix it in post-production, see what I can do. Now I did a couple of full body shots for the perfume. Now the really tricky part is I need to get some close-up shots of the bottle. And unfortunately, as you can see, this webcam, you cannot get close-up shots. It's impossible. Like the the image is just pure trash. So I thought about it a bit and my idea is to use this thing. You know what it is. You know what it is. Oh, it's in focus. I'm gonna play with it. I don't know if it's gonna work, but let's just try it. Later on, I wanted to see if I can get a 180 degree spin of the product. So I decided to use a green screen, well, yellow screen to do the job. For some reason, after I had the yellow screen behind, the white balance just started to shift like crazy. Okay, so yesterday I got the chance to sit down and edit and go through all of the footage that I shot. Honestly, I am really disappointed in myself and in the webcam. <laughs> Seriously, 95% of all of the things that I tried are entirely unusable. Well, obviously I already knew that right after the shot, but I still thought that I could make something interesting and cool out of those trash. Well, apparently I'm wrong. <laughs> now, before we look at the final edit, we're just gonna look at three of the major difficulties that I have to face during the shooting. Number one, any type of contrast look can ruin the whole exposure. It, like, it can easily go underexposed or overexposed. Number two, any type of camera movement can also destroy your footage because you don't know what the shutter speed is and you cannot adjust that as well. So you just try to avoid any type of camera movement. Number three, I wish I could have done some close-up shots, but obviously that's the limit of the camera. So yeah, I'm done complaining. Let's just take a look at the final edit. There you go.
Whew, okay, so it's actually quite painful to watch the whole thing. Now, before you throw your shoes at me, honestly, I am really pissed at myself as well because deep down inside, I know that I am not good enough. I could have done better. I am 100% sure that there are a thousand filmmakers out there who could have done this like a million times better. And I know that there are so much things that could have been done, but at the same time, it's kind of like a fun way to see where my level of creativity is at right now. So hopefully one day I will be better at shooting product commercial. So far I've only done like two, so I'm really like amateur when it comes to product commercials. So yeah, that's about it with the video. Make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. And guys, do me a favor, leave a like, just for the, all of the hours that I wasted with no result, just so you guys can make fun of me. I'll see you guys next time, bye.